Jackie Chan, a name synonymous with heart-pounding action, incredible stunts, and boundless charisma, has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Born on April 7, 1954, in Hong Kong, his life journey is a tale of perseverance, dedication, and an unwavering commitment to his craft. From his early struggles in the film industry to becoming a global icon, Jackie Chan's story is a testament to his resilience, creativity, and the enduring power of hard work. Early life and introduction to the world of entertainment. Jackie Chan was born Chan Kong Sang to a family deeply rooted in the arts. His parents were both working in the entertainment industry, with his father serving as a successful opera singer and his mother working as a housekeeper for a French diplomat. It was in this environment that young Jackie was introduced to the world of performance and showmanship. The family moved to Canberra, Australia when Chan was six. But the following year, his parents sent him back to Hong Kong to attend a strict boarding school that trained students for Jingxi. From age seven to 17, he studied acrobatics, singing, martial arts, and mime, skills that launched him into a position with a professional tumbling troupe and landed him bit roles as a child actor and later as a stuntman. However, his childhood was marked by hardship. At the age of seven, Jackie's parents decided to enroll him in the China Drama Academy, a rigorous institution that combined traditional education with martial arts training. This period of his life was arduous, characterized by strict discipline, intense training, and a demanding routine. The training, though grueling, laid the foundation for the physicality and discipline that would define his future career. Struggles and early film roles. After completing his training at the China Drama Academy, Jackie Chan began his journey in the film industry as a stuntman and extra. Despite his remarkable skills, success did not come easy. He struggled to find substantial roles and often performed dangerous stunts without proper safety measures. These early experiences, while challenging, taught him the importance of determination and the value of pushing boundaries. Jackie's break came when he caught the attention of director Lo Wei, who cast him as the lead in New Fist of Fury, 1976. Although the film achieved moderate success, it was his collaboration with director Yuan Wu Ping in Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, 1978, that catapulted him to stardom. This film marked the beginning of a defining partnership that showcased Jackie's unique blend of kung fu prowess and comedic flair. The Birth of a Legend Jackie Chan's breakthrough came with Drunken Master, 1978, a film that cemented his status as an action star. The film showcased his innovative approach to fight choreography, introducing a style that was both acrobatic and humorous. Jackie's ability to seamlessly blend martial arts with physical comedy resonated with audiences and set him apart in the industry. As his popularity grew, so did his ambition. In 1980, he formed the Jackie Chan Stuntmen Association, which provided a platform for his fellow stunt performers to showcase their skills and create a safe environment for experimentation. This venture not only highlighted his commitment to safety, but also laid the groundwork for his future projects. Breaking into Hollywood and global stardom, Jackie Chan's foray into Hollywood came with Rumble in the Bronx, 1995, which introduced his unique style to a Western audience. While he encountered challenges adapting his approach to the Hollywood system, his charisma and dynamic action sequences left a lasting impact. He continued to make waves with films like Rush Hour, 1998, and Shanghai Noon, 2000, solidifying his position as an international superstar. Despite his Hollywood success, Jackie Chan remained deeply connected to his roots in Hong Kong cinema. His collaboration with director Stanley Tong resulted in iconic films like Rumble in the Bronx and the Police Story series, which showcased his trademark stunts and charismatic screen presence. His commitment to pushing boundaries and creating memorable action sequences earned him respect and admiration from audiences around the world. Beyond the action, philanthropy, and cultural impact, Jackie Chan's influence extended beyond his cinematic accomplishments. He embraced philanthropy, supporting causes ranging from disaster relief to children's education. He founded the Jackie Chan Charitable Foundation and co-founded the Dragon's Heart Foundation, both of which focused on charitable initiatives and social responsibility. Kept Marriage Secret 
By the early 1990s, Chan was perhaps the top marquee attraction on the Asian continent. He had some success as a singer, later expressing a wish to remake the classic film The Sound of Music, and his carefully guarded personal life was the stuff of tabloid headlines. One of his legion of female fans was reportedly driven to suicide by rumors that he was actually involved with another woman, and those rumors turned out to be true. In 1982, Chan married Taiwanese actress Lin Feng Zhao. He also has a son, JC. Chan revealed the marriage only in his 1998 autobiography, I Am Jackie Chan. Despite his success, Chan's lack of success in the American market still rankled with strong underground buzz culminating in a 1995 Lifetime Achievement nod at the MTV Movie Awards. Presented by director Quentin Tarantino, Hollywood distributors resolved to give Chan another try. His first new American effort, Rumble in the Bronx, was a dubbed version of an earlier Cantonese-language Hong Kong release, but it did well enough to pave the way for subsequent Chan releases stateside. In addition to his philanthropic efforts, Jackie Chan's cultural impact was recognized by academia. He was awarded honorary doctorates from prestigious institutions, acknowledging his contributions to both film and culture. His dedication to preserving traditional Chinese culture was evident through his involvement in projects that celebrated Chinese heritage and values. Legacy and Continued Pursuits as Jackie Chan's career continued to flourish, he diversified his roles to include dramatic performances that showcased his versatility as an actor. Films like The Karate Kid, 2010, demonstrated his ability to connect with audiences on an emotional level, proving that he was not confined to the action genre. Chan also began to devote time to humanitarian activities, serving as an ambassador for the children's organization. Still, his energy remained devoted mostly to films. He felt a commitment to continue working in Hong Kong, where film profits had deteriorated under the twin pressures of communist Chinese oversight of the former British colony and rampant video piracy in Chan's home Asian market. He provided dialogue for an animated television series, Jackie Chan Adventures, on the kids' WB cable network. Jackie Chan's legacy is not only defined by his action-packed films, but also by his commitment to fostering cross-cultural understanding. He leveraged his fame to bridge gaps between Eastern and Western cultures, acting as a global ambassador for cinema and cultural exchange. Here are some of the ungdown facts about Jackie Chan. Facts you never knew about Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan failed his initial year in primary school and hence was withdrawn from school. He is a proficient trainer of martial arts, Kung Fu and Wing Chun. Jackie Chan has been working in the film since 1960s and has starred in more than 150 movies. Conclusion An enduring icon. Jackie Chan's life journey is a testament to his dedication, resilience, and creative spirit. From his early struggles as a stuntman to his status as an international icon, he has redefined the action genre and captivated audiences across the globe. His legacy extends beyond his films, 